Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are having a fantastic day. We're going to go to try number two. I got the K1500 in the driveway. We're gonna attempt to get this airbag off. We're gonna attempt to fix the clock spring. This is a fairly simple process. But for someone who's never worked on cars before, this is something that I wanna do on my own, not pay somebody to do it, not get too much help from people. Then we can move on to more important things, um, like I think there's a transmission leak, I think there's an oil leak on this truck, and I really wanna do this stuff myself. So if this is the first time you're watching the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notifications on, and leave a thumbs up. Okay, notification squad, here is what we haven't done in about three weeks, right there. There is a $50 gift card for you guys, whoever can get that loaded into their Amazon account the fastest, it's your money. Congratulations to the winner. Make sure you post below that you won. And speaking of Amazon, there is a link in the description below. Bookmark that. Every time you shop at Amazon, it directly supports this channel. You don't have to do anything other than just shop on Amazon by clicking that link first. Also, uh, down in the description is a link to the merch store. New Chevy Dude hat down there and the very first new Chevy Dude signature t-shirt this thing i love this thing now i haven't mentioned that i got this but uh, i've already sold a couple of them through the merch store so there's already some out there and uh, you could be the next one so get it in the description below hey check this out i did it the airbag is out of the k1500 so i can sit here and start digging into this and getting it out so the things that i've watched on YouTube and other instructions are telling me that there is a little spring that you want to use a uh, flathead screwdriver to get it up there and just move that spring out of the way and it comes out. But after the last video I had the K1500 in, Travis from Twitter uh, direct messaged me and told me no, that there's actually two types of airbags for these years and he enlightened me a ton. And uh, actually what I need to do is use, and I read this uh, last week, I, did, I didn't put this in the video, but I did read that someone had said use a um, Allen wrench to get in there and the Allen wrench didn't work, but Travis helped me out a ton. And uh, actually what I used was a T10 Torx bit and here's why. So in a nutshell, basically what I had to do was get this Torx bit right in there and then push down on it. And that's what made this release. Because if you look here, there's actually little ball bearings in there. I kind of, I think I mentioned that um, in the video last time. Those little ball bearings is what I saw last time. And I didn't think that there was any way that I could get up there and, and push them in. So I was just doing completely failing at it. But uh, if you look at these pictures that Travis sent me, there's actually two different types of airbags for this. So this first picture is the airbag that I thought this truck had. And that's what I was trying to do was get up there and move the spring out of the way so this would just pop out. That's kind of what airbags are today in modern cars, where as I showed you earlier, this is not the airbag that you see in the picture. All right, so next thing that we need to do is get that big nut off. And here's a little trick that I do know, I didn't need to get help from Twitter, is uh, put the seat belt through the steering wheel here. Tighten that up and that's gonna keep that from moving. I'm gonna use my DeWalt impact here to see if this works. Came off with no problem. That makes it very, very easy. Undo that. So the next thing I get to do is get out my steering wheel puller because I did try to knock this off. You can see it's not really coming off. Who knows if it's ever been off since 1995 when they put it on. So we'll get to our uh, steering wheel puller. Right, next step is to use our little steering wheel puller here. I've got that all set up. It'll come right out. Whoa, the clock spring didn't the clock spring went from front. 
So I just pulled the clock spring off as you saw and you can see those wires are right there. They're supposed to be connected right there and that was out of hoping the cause of the ABS light. So I'll pull that wire out, put the new clock spring on, have the dog stop barking at me and uh, put it all back together and hopefully that ABS light is off. It's the moment of truth. Let's see what happens here. And uh, pray the airbag doesn't go off in my face. Matter of fact, since I'm saying that, let's just uh, go ahead and put this key in. We'll come out here and we'll twist it out here. Start her up. Let's see what we got here. Oh no, the airbag light is still flashing. No, it went off! Oh my gosh! It went off. There we go. Whew, saw that brake light on. It's off! Yes! The Chevy dude is a mechanic. Can you believe that? So here we are a couple days later uh, in regards to me fixing that clock spring and uh, I wanted to kind of think about this for a couple days because and, and really from a couple days ago when I fixed this on Sunday nothing's changed in my thought process. I haven't even talked to anybody about this at work. I just fixed it, moved on, didn't even talk about my wife about it or anything is when I took that off I was expecting that to kind of like hang there for a little bit because I hadn't pulled the wire out from underneath the dash yet. When that thing came off in my hand, instantly, immediately came to my thought process is, oh my God, the safety things that weren't gonna happen in the event of an accident. So to the customer who traded that in that I bought it from, and of course to myself driving this thing, this, this truck was actually really, really dangerous in the event of an accident. So if there was an accident, this airbag was not gonna go off in any way, shape or form. Those wires were cut 100%. I didn't mess with them. So in a nutshell, if you have some type of safety warning message, airbag, stability track, traction control systems, get it in there and get it fixed ASAP. You never know what that little itty bitty light could be and what it could mean to your family if something the worst absolutely happened. So get it in, get it fixed, figure it out somehow and get it done because you as a human being, regardless of what country you're in, you have somebody that's depending on you, you have somebody that loves you, and we uh, at the Auto Group, me, having you watch this channel, we want you to be around and do what's good for your family. So um, again, this was fun for me, right? I really enjoyed fixing this truck, and I can't wait to do some more things. I'm gonna do my first mod, uh, I'm doing that tomorrow, so that video will probably be up next week. I'm doing my first mod, I'm really, really excited about this. I think you'll like it, and this is gonna be something every truck owner should do to their truck. 100% of the time, every truck owner should do this to their truck. I'm taking it to the shop tomorrow, and uh, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. But uh, in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. If this is the first time that you're watching the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notifications on, because I'll be doing more Amazon gift cards to the people who have the notifications on. And then most importantly, use that Amazon link every time you buy something on Amazon, that's in the description below. And then we have the Chevy Dude merch. Buy some Chevy Dude merch, support the channel, and uh, I'd love to see you walking around this at the next time that I hold a fan event. So again, thank you so much for watching. You have a great day, and drive safely. <music>